Hey everybody, Nick the Comic Nerd here, doing another Tuesday edited video. So, my goal today is to show you guys off some cool things I found. I'm uh, trying to get on these Tuesday videos a little bit earlier, so I don't have to worry about them so much, but um, I hope you enjoy what I have to show today. I'm going to show you guys some figures I collected throughout um, the Infinity War. So, let's check out what I got. Alright guys, so I have a bunch of figures to show you that I've kept here in a short box. They actually fit pretty well on top of one another 2x2. Two two. So we'll start with Drax. So these are the figures. All poseable. Hands, wrists, um, waist, and everything. Uh, all of them look like this. They have uh, Thanos on the top there, and they all come with a weapon and an Infinity Stone. So the Infinity Stones change color. Not all of the heroes come with the same color Infinity Stone. This one is pretty neat. Great design on Drax. Those Infinity Stores are compatible with something called Hero Vision. Uh, it's some game that you use, and uh, you kind of like link it up. That's why the stone itself. I don't like that the stones are so big, but it's still pretty cool looking. But I don't like how big the stone is, and it has that design on all of them. So, first one I wanted to show off was Drax. Next off, I wanted to show off Scarlet Witch. This is a cool one of Wanda. Um, face is really well done on here. I'm trying to get a clear shot. There we go. Uh, she has the yellow stone. Um, her little weapon thing is uh, it's just like her power. But really neat one. Again, all the boxes are the same. I've tried keeping these in the best condition I could, the boxes. I don't know that I'll ever open these. My goal is to one day display them and hang them this way. Um, but yeah, I thought this was another great one of her. Not a big fan of the hair on this one. I don't think her hair is really that orange. But still, really neat toy. I wanted to show you guys my guy, Star-Lord. Love this one. Weapon is a little ridiculous. A little huge gun he doesn't ever use, but... Really cool with the jacket, the leather pants, the stone. The mask is done really well. I'm trying to get some clearness on there for you. But I thought this one was great. Good quill cool figure. Um, that's a nice view. But like I said, just some cool stuff I wanted to show off that I have. Didn't want to go crazy on anything, but I figured I'll keep rolling through them. Like I said, I want to say I have like maybe 12 of these. Um, I think they were all like $12, $10 when the Infinity War was coming out. Black Widow, this is a good one. Hair is good, face is pretty good. She's got her nice little long staff. Um, the shirt, I want to say she wore light green in the fight on Wakanda. I could be wrong during the movie, but really cool. What's funny too is today I was wondering and I asked a few friends. I was like, hey, does anybody remember why and then what movie Captain America said Earth just lost its best defender? And people were telling me that it was um, Infinity War and it was... Uh, based on Iron Man, and I was like, but they didn't see each other, so I knew it was Infinity War, but I couldn't remember why and who, and then I was like, maybe it's Vision, but I was wrong. This is a good one of the Hulk, thick one, heavy one, cool, he's got some, he's got some, like, rock staff, the thing I just don't love about these is the weapons that they've all been given. Um, some of them are good, like that Black Widow one is good, but one like this, not really my go-to, face is done well, body is done well, uh, I think I got this one before Infinity War came out, because, as we all know, he doesn't stay Hulk for long, so... This is one I really like, and it took me a long time to find. Gamora. Don't love the face at all. Uh, love that it's the sword. Love the outfit. Love the hair. But overall, I don't dig the face. You can see her eyes make her look a little crazy-eyed. Um, Bug-eyed, however you want to call it. She's looking that way, and she's looking all the way that way. But uh, still a neat one to have. Like I said, this was a hard one. So when you look at the back of these, what's cool is it'll always show you three other characters. They don't all do that, though. So some of them will show you, oh, you need these three, um, whereas others will not do the same exact way. So pretty cool in that aspect also, if you're asking me. And I think here come the heavy hitters. Um, Thor, thankfully he has Stormbreaker. They did an awesome job with this one. I love his suit. think they did a good job with the face. Hair is a little light, but overall this is a really good one, I think. They did a good job looking look like Hemsworth. His arms are pretty jacked in this. Still really cool looking. Um, that's a good one. I really like that one. Face is done well. Keep going with these heavy hitters. Um, there we go. Cap. Get old Captain America. Captain America was one I didn't choose right away. He's got the cool sword, the cool shield from Wakanda that he was given because he doesn't have his shield. Love that they blewed out the star on the chest. Um, if I remember correctly, yep, his shoulders are plain. There is no A on it for Avengers, just like in the movie. Hurts my heart. Face wasn't done great. Um, facial hair was done well. Um, 
could have lightened up his face a little bit. So that's the cool thing, you know. Like these are pretty neat figures. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them one day, but I think they're cool to have. I think I was so hyped up for the movie that it makes it even better for me. But well, a couple more, and we'll get out of here for the day, guys. This is a good one. Um, minus one small aspect, but this is Rocket and Groot. They came as a package, which is great. Nice gun for Rocket. Rocket's neck is just ridiculous. I don't mind the face. I know it's not great. I don't love the coloring of everything. Groot, they did a pretty good job on. Um, but yeah, that rocket neck, man. Holy smokes. It's just kind of long. I get he kind of has a long neck, but I think his figure could have been done a little bit better. Maybe thinned it out a little bit. I don't know. But I like the way that Groot looks. Um, got a little green and darkness in Groot, too. So it looks like he's been a little burnt. So pretty cool. We'll keep going. So my final three are probably three of my favorites. Starting with the Iron Spider. I think that was done really well with the gold. The face, the shape, everything. His weapon. I keep pointing at my left hand. It's the right hand because it's backwards. Um, you put it on his back. It gives him four extra legs. This is a really cool, well done one. I think the eyes, the shape. Like I said, this is a great figure to have. This is one of the better done ones. But really, really cool. And we'll just roll on. This one is one of the best ones by far. This is Doctor Strange. Pretty heavy duty. I think the face is done well. Benedict Cumberbatch's face is a little bit thinner, which no big deal. But I think this is great. It has him like using his thing in the background. That's kind of like his weapon for it. But they also did the hair pretty good. They tried to two-tone it. I love his outfit. I think they did wonderful on that. The cape is great. Really cool. And then last but not least, the man, the myth, the legend, Iron Man. This was a good one. I think they did well. I think they could have lightened it up. I think they could have done the chest piece a little bit better. Um, it's basically just his arm extended as like a cannon. But I like how they made it close to the suit he uses in the movie. Um, I wish there was a little bit more like contrast in his red. It's kind of painted one solid color, which I don't love, but pretty cool overall. Alright guys, so overall I showed you a handful of figures. Like I said on the back, I'll show you. Um, every one of the backs shows different characters. This shows me Iron Man, Thor, and Scarlet Witch. The few I don't have, I don't have War Machine. I don't have Falcon. I don't even know if they made Winter Soldier. So I think I'm just missing those two. They didn't make a Thanos. Um, I'm just going through the backs again to see if anything. Like I said, I'm kind of just keeping these in a short box. Um, they're not really crammed in there, thankfully, but I showed you, like I said, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, so, um, like I said, there's Falcon, that's one I don't have, I always look around for it on Amazon suddenly, they shot up in price, but that's pretty cool, I'm not against it, you know, to complete the series would be pretty awesome, um, like I said, I'm just going through the back, so I'll show you a couple more, one more time. Some good stuff. Finding Doctor Strange was awesome. I know this is Starla, but Finding Doctor Strange was awesome because that was one I didn't know I would find. But, uh, oh, there we go. And there's War Machine. So, like I said, I don't think they made a Winter Soldier. I think I'm just missing those two. From time to time, I look around for it. I always look up and down the toy stores for it. Um, and then I always question finding and buying, um, some other kind of these figures. Like, they make those, like, 10 inch ones. They're cool for, like, 10 bucks, but. There's just so many. I'm too late in the game for those, I feel like, as a collector for it. So, if I could get these last two, you know, that would be really awesome for me. So, the goal is going to be to do that. And when I do it, maybe I'll put a video up. So, thanks so much for checking out this Tuesday edited video. I hope you stay safe, and I hope you enjoy your comics. Comment and tell me which one of these figures you like the best. All right, guys? Thanks so much.